Cohen and I'm at the Wheat Baker Hotel to talk to some of the cast members of the movie Half of a Yellow Sun. Hi guys, my name is Onos and I'm here at Silverberg Galleria to watch the first ever screening of Half of a Yellow Sun at the Silverberg Galleria. So uh, I'm sure you can tell how excited I am. I'm going to be one of the very few people to get to see this movie. So when we get back from the movie, we'll tell you everything, all the tiny details that you guys have definitely not seen yet. Cause we're seeing it. <laughs> Half Yellow Sun, as we know, is a book by Chimamanda that has been taken onto the big screen by B. Bandele. The movie tells a story of the Civil War through exploring relationships between people and in particular a love story. So it is basically a Civil War story told through a love story. I'm going to catch up with some of the cast members now and B himself and I'll see you later. A special woman is arriving this weekend. Very special. Yes, sir. My name is not Sam. I felt that um, Chimamanda Chimamanda's book was one of the most extraordinary pieces of literature that I'd ever read. And I loved it and it, obviously it had an impact on me because of the particular family history but also um, I just felt that it was a beautifully told story with these extraordinary characters and people. I applied for a job as a lecturer in the Department of Sociology and I got it. I was born, obviously, in in London, and um, you know, my you know, in, in a sense, I have a, a kind of mixed heritage, if you like, you know, that um, of of Britain and, and Nigeria, or the other way around. And um, but it's always been important to me um, to sort of try and bring all of that and all those influences full circle. My infancy began then in the war, and my memory starts then, and. The impact of the war and the war in the mind continued for decades afterwards and continues. Even in the 70s, as children, we'd sing the Biafran war songs and adults would say, shut up, hush, hush. So I knew quite a number of the songs in that book growing up, and this was years after the war. Ojukubu as a Biafra. Ederayana Aburi, his king of Biafra, it was written in Aburi, and so on. I, yes, mm, yes, it portrayed the angst, the horror, the heartbreak. I, I, it stirred and challenged my humanity and reinforced my distaste for war. We're at war. I'd known B for several years, uh, B. Mandela, and we wanted to make a film in Nigeria. And it, it was, and when he told me, in fact, that he was adapting the book, I, um, you know, it just felt like the perfect sort of confluence of events, and uh, and we were able to tell this very special story and shoot it here in, in Nigeria. Do you feel like, you know, the way the movie has been put together, do you feel like that gets across the message that Chimamanda was trying to put out there in her novel? Well, I mean, I, I think Chimamanda thinks so. I mean, I mean, she, I know that she has seen it now nearly 10 times. Um, and Chimamanda, doesn't, she doesn't suffer fools gladly. If she didn't like the movie, she wouldn't have gone back to see it after, the, after you know, the first time she saw it. I was translating the story from one medium to another. And, and it's like translating poetry from, from one language to another. You know, you cannot be literal. Um, if you're literal, it's, you know, it just sounds in a new language like bad translation. So you look for new idioms, um, new metaphors, new ways of expressing an idea. As artists, we're supposed to be versatile, yeah. right? We're supposed to be able to carry whatever roles we're giving and do it to the best of our ability. One, two, the director already knew what he was looking for. At the end of the day, um, it's a whole picture, the totality of the picture that we should look at. Yeah. Is the story being told? Um, you're getting the information, are you being educated about it? Is there something to learn from it? Each person who watches it must take something home, and that's the whole idea. And how did that movie make you feel? I think it was a good story, um, good cinematography, the actors delivered well. Um, Onye Kaweno, big shout out to her, she, she was uh, a comic in this, in this regard. It was refreshing to see that side of her. It was awesome, it was nice, it was, it was pretty cool to watch something of our Nigerian history on TV instead of reading it from a book, long history book. 
So yeah, it was kind of nice putting our history in motion picture. And um, it's kind of beautiful how Nigeria is even in the midst of all the chaos. You know what? I have to give them kudos because adapting a book and translating it from hundreds of pages into 90 minutes or however many minutes in the screen, you tend to leave a lot of stuff on the cutting room floor. So I can't I can't double check for them. I can't go and say, oh my God, they should have done this and they didn't. They did a great job and I think we should applaud them for you that. You must never behave as if your life belongs to a man. Oh God. Our relationship is the most important thing to me. We have to make the right decision. Honest, how's the movie? It was great, man. Really? It's, it's one of those once in a lifetime kind of movies you gotta see. Too. You okay. better go catch it. Definitely, definitely. Since you didn't ask, <laughs> my press conference, it was actually really interesting, oh, really cool. informative. I didn't know, I quite liked it. It's really interesting. Oh, yes. sad I missed it. I'm a bit jealous. Yeah, you did miss it. <laughs> All right, so that's it from us. I have to be a listen. See you guys next time.